Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. We have a brand new product. This is by Peter Holwig, uh, my friend who created the pipes generator and the air duct generator. This time he has created two different scaffolding rigs for us and I'm gonna walk you through them really quick. So we have a Lib4D with the download. We have two different versions. So the first one is an aluminum uh, scaffolding rig. So let's open that up and check it out. So all of your settings are gonna be in this twirl down. So if we open this up and just click on this setup tab, we have all of our options. So let me walk you through these different options so you know what you'll be getting. Um, on the bottom, we have wheels right now, but we can also change that to foot plates if we wanted to. And we have these four different outriggers also, which we can turn off or on. We can also have these rotate around. Let's just turn them off for right now. And then we can also retract or elevate this whole rig. And we can do the same with the wheels. So that's pretty cool. And then we can also offset the base if we wanted to have some more randomization. And these come with different um, depths and widths. So we can switch those up really quickly, make them wider or longer. We also have the ability to add additional floors with the maximum of nine. So let's just add a few and see what it looks like. So we can add a bunch of these and you'll notice that we have one, two, three. We have the different uh, stories listed here. That is, let's see here, floor markers. We can turn those on or off. We can also scale those up or down if you wanna see them. So once we've added more floors to this, we can also twirl down the options for every single floor and customize them. So let's go to the first floor and look at the options right here. So we can add um, additional braces. If we scroll in here, we can add additional braces. We can take off certain ones and add some more diagonal ones. We could turn off all the diagonal ones and instead have horizontal ones. Um, and all of these, if we go to the right hand side, we can move these up and down wherever we want them to go. So it's very easy to customize. We also can move the entire floor if we want to. So there's the floor. And then we can also change this from a half deck to a full deck if we want to. And we can also open and close the hatch door, which is pretty cool. And then also if we want a back brace, we can check that on. We'll have a little back brace. So I guess technically this would be the back right here. So that would have a brace. And then finally at the bottom, we have material setup. So we have all of our materials here, but if you wanna replace them, I would just use this setup right here. So for instance, if we wanted to go to our material pack and add a metal, let's go ahead and throw a metal in here, go back to this material section. And let's say that we want all these tubings to have the metal. We'll just drag and drop it into this slot. And you can see that it'll be updating in your viewport right here. So we'll just drag all these into here and now we'll have that new metal material. So it's really easy, just drag and drop into these slots. If you wanna change the work floors to wood or some other um, texture, you can do that right here. So it's really easy to play with the materials. So that is it for the first one. Uh, lots of different things you can customize. So let's go ahead and add the second one. So this is a really cool rig with uh, kind of wooden planks on the top and a little bit of a different look. This one also has a nice ladder. So let's twirl this down and look at all the settings for this one. So the first thing we have, let's change this to garage shading, is we have all of these rotation segments so we can increase the subdivision or decrease it depending on how close you'll be to the model. We can also um, increase the uh, radius of the fillet cap at the top there and the segments we have on there. And then just like before, we can um, retract the foot plates, increase those or decrease them, rotate them. We can play with the size of this whole element, make it wider or longer. We can add a rubble shaft over here. We can add or take away the ladder. We can move the ladder left and right, and we can add floors right here, just like before. So let's add some floors. You can see that everything is responsive and will update as we do this. So we can turn on or off our floor markers, and then we can go into each of these different floors and play with the settings. So let's see what kind of settings we have. We have obviously all of these diagonal braces, which are on by default. We can um, play around with these guys, what position they're at. Um, we also have a uh, first work floor, so we can add a floor in there. We can add outriggers to this one as well. These ones look a little bit different. So if we add four outriggers, um, we can also rotate these around if we want to, like that. We can add guardrails to the floor. So if we check that on, you can see we have some guardrails. We also have a tow board, which we can tack onto there. So there's quite a few different elements that you can play around with and customize. We even have, there's a little tag on this ladder. If you wanted to go in here and change the settings on here, you can even do that. We have a little tag settings right here. 
So we can go in and change this to say Pixel Lab, and there it updates. And we also have checkboxes for all these safety uh, marks right here. We can add or take those off. So pretty much everything about this entire rig is very easy to customize. So Peter did a really nice job on this rig because there's a ton of options that are easy to use, but everything's responsive and updates, and it has collision detection, and um, it's just really fast to work with also, which is pretty impressive. So as always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. Thanks for supporting us, um, buying our products, and helping us keep this thing going. We really do appreciate it, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, everybody.